Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to use Zotero, a citation management tool to save, organize, and cite research. Zotero is really helpful when you're completing a major research project, like a literature review or a capstone. To get started, go to zotero.org and click download. You'll need to download both the software and the connector for whichever browser you use most often. I use Chrome, so I downloaded the plugin for Google Chrome. Once you've downloaded Zotero, go ahead and open the application. The application needs to be open for you to save research to Zotero. To add research to your Zotero library, do a search in any database or search engine. Zotero can help you save and cite a variety of source types. Once I find something that I want to save, I will go ahead and click on the title and then come up to the plugin and click on Save to Zotero. Usually your plugin will look like a Z or a page, depending on what kind of page you're on. So mine looks like a page right now, and you can see that it is saving to my library. We'll talk about folders in just a second, but if I want to save it to a specific folder, I can go ahead and click on that folder and then click Done to save it to both my library and that specific folder. If the item you're saving has an associated PDF, when you save that item, you'll see that Zotero saves the PDF to your library as well. Zotero so doesn't just work for library databases. It also works for searches on the wider internet. If I search for my keywords and find a page that's interesting to me, I can also save a snapshot of that page to my Zotero library as well. And you can see that that snapshot is what's saved. So a link back to this page and a snapshot of the page on the day that I saved it. If we come back to our Zotero library, you can see that those items have been added to the top of my library, which is organized by date added. I also saved these items to my new folder one, and you can see that they're in there as well. The citation information that Zotero saves may need a little editing, depending on what citation style you're using, but this information is usually pretty accurate, especially for scholarly articles. Like I said, you can organize items from your library into folders by clicking on the new folder button right here. You can enter a name for your folder and then just go ahead and highlight anything you want to go ahead and click and drag into that new folder. So if I wanted to add these two items to my folder number one, I can go ahead and do that. Once you're ready to start writing your research paper, completing your research project, you can use the Zotero plugins in Microsoft Word to cite information as you go. So if you click on Zotero up here, there was a plugin that was automatically installed when we downloaded Zotero. There is a plugin for Google Docs that's automatically installed as well if you install the Chrome connector. So um, Zotero's automatically added this plugin for my Microsoft Word and for my Google Docs. So as you're writing, if you come to a place where you might need to cite some information, like a quote or a summary of someone else's thoughts, you can just go ahead and click add slash edit citation. This will pull up your document preferences the first time you do it. So if I wanna cite in APA 7th edition, I can just default to here. And I usually just kind of leave all of this stuff alone, press okay and I will start typing the last name of an author into this little red bar. So if I want to cite Hardy here, I can go ahead and click Hardy, and that is going to enter the citation information for Hardy right here. I can do the same thing over here with Hill. So I'll just click add slash edit citation again, type in Hill, and that will be in APA 7th. Uh, you might need to add page numbers depending on what you're citing and how you're citing it. So some slight editing again might be needed, but this is pretty easy. And then when it comes time to create your bibliography, you'll click add slash edit bibliography. And that's just going to go ahead and insert the full citation information for anything you've used the add slash edit citation button to add here. So you can see that these still do need a little bit of editing. I could have done that on the back end by editing the citation information in this field right here, correcting the capitalization of this article for my APA 7th. Um, but I can also do that here just as easily, just making some slight edits to my citations to make sure that they're properly formatted. But this is a lot easier than doing this by hand or using one of those citation machines as well. 
If you don't have Microsoft Word or Google Docs, or if you'd rather kind of do your in-text citations by hand and then cite everything at the end, you can do that as well. So you'll just highlight everything that you'd like to cite, or you can just cite everything in a folder at once, um, either by highlighting everything and then right-clicking or right-clicking on the folder where you want to cite everything that's in there. So then you'll click Create Bibliography from Collection. You'll click, you'll choose your citation style. So APA 7th is what we're using for this example, but you can see that we also have the Chicago Manual style. Um, we have the MLA, 9th edition, the most current edition of MLA, and you can also manage your styles, add new ones, or change them up. So I'm gonna stick with APA 7th. What I want is the bibliography. If I wanted those in-text citations, I would click citations, but because I want full bibliography entries with that entire citation information, I'll click bibliography, and then I always click copy to clipboard because I think this is the easiest one to use. I'll click OK, come back to my document, and I can just go ahead and paste all of that citation information. Sometimes you may need to say keep source formatting so it does that nice little hanging indent for you, um, but you can see that we've cited everything that was in that folder. Okay, those are the basics of using Zotero. Keep in mind that Zotero has a lot of advanced features, so please use their robust documentation to learn more about the ways that you can use Zotero to make your research a little bit easier. Um, make sure that you're organizing, saving, and citing everything that you need to complete a major research project. Thanks so much, and please reach out to the library if you have any other questions.